I mean, this December, David, marks the 25th anniversary of the collapse of the Soviet Union. You think about it. The United States has been at war in 22 out of the 25 years since the end of the Cold War, and there is no end in sight. And by all criteria, it's been a disaster. Uh, the United States invasion of Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, they've been unmitigated disasters. Uh, America's prestige, credibility, influence, its ability to overall has diminished dramatically during the last 15 years. Uh, the foreign policy sure, elites have what, been pushing what, what policies like NATO expansion, which is nearly pushed Russia closer to China. Yeah, but, next but, week, next month, we're going to have but Trump joint is saying, Russia and Trump Chinese. Trump isn't saying withdraw from these battles, is he? He's well, saying, look, I'm, yeah, uh, I'm just know, we'll saying that, defeat them. Yeah, but these policies that the foreign policy elites have pushed in Washington for the last 15 years, as Trump correctly identifies, have led to a lot of disasters. The other point I'd say is, although I don't agree with Trump's critique, nevertheless, he resonates with a lot of people when he says that the foreign policy elites have pushed free trade agendas, globalizations that, among other things, have displaced the white working class. Now, Trump, I think, all things considered, is on a winner. This is a very war-weary American people we're talking about. No, yeah. I no way, shape or form, uh, carry a brief for this guy. I'm just simply saying, though, <laughs> it is a bit rich for the foreign policy elite in Washington to get worked up about Donald Trump when they have presided over many disasters, especially since 9-11.